Good morning, one and all present here. Uh, the today's topic is Freedom of Choice in Manju Kapoor's Difficult Daughters, Her Critical Study. The fl uh, flow of my presentation is like this. It starts with introduction to Manju Kapoor and her writings. What is existentialism? What are the themes of existentialism? And the theme of freedom of choice in difficult daughters. So this is about introduction to Manju Kapoor. Manju Kapoor is an eminent Indian writer in English. She was born in Amritsar, Punjab in 1948. She was educated in Delhi and Canada. And after her education, she started her career as a lecturer in Miranda House College for 30 years. And she has written six novels such as Difficult Daughters, which was awarded Commonwealth Writers Prize in Asia. And her second novel is A Married Woman in the year 2003. It was shortlisted for an Cora Award. And the third novel, A Home, was written in 2006. That, is, that was also shortlisted for the Hutch Cross World Award in 2006. And the fourth novel is The Immigrant in the year 2008. And the fifth novel is Custody. And finally, and recently, she has written uh, brothers in the year 2016. Apart from her novel, she has written short stories and poems. All her writings deal with uh, lives of middle class Indian women. Okay, then we should know what is existentialism and what are the themes of existentialism. First of all, we'll see what is existentialism. Existentialism is 20th century European philosophy and it is a philosophical and literary movement that was included philosophers, theologians and writers such as Kierkegaard, Sartre, Nietzsche, Camus, Heidegger, Marcel, Batman and Kafka. And the term existentialism was coined by Gabriel Marcel in 1943. And existentialism it deals with man and his existence says man is a free agent responsible for his own action. J. L. Stein writes like this, existentialism proposed that man was a lonely creature of anxiety and despair living in a meaningless world and was merely existing until he made a decisive and critical choice about his own future course of action. By such a choice, a person would acquire an identity, a purpose, and dignity as a human being. So, according to J. L. Stein, unless until man make his critical choice or decisive and critical choice, uh, he is living in a meaningless world. So, the choices that he makes, it will help him to create his own identity and purpose of his existence on this earth. Also, Macquarie remarks like this, existentialism is humanism as it is very much concerned with the human and personal values and also with the authentic existence of human being. According to Saad, he write like this in Existentialism Humanism, where a man commits himself to anything fully realizing that he is not only choosing what he will be, but is thereby at the same time a legislator deciding for the whole of mankind in such a moment, a man cannot escape from the sense of complete and profound responsibility. So, whenever man is making his choice, he is acting as a legislator or a lawmaker who is responsible for the man, whole mankind. Okay, so everyone's choice comes with responsibility. What are the themes of existentialism? Existentialist themes such as freedom of choice, bad faith, guilt, alienation, anxiety and despair. So, we are going to analyze the theme of freedom of choice in Manji Kapoor's novel, especially The Difficult Daughters from an existentialist perspective. Okay, so what is the freedom of choice? This freedom of choice is the key philosophical idea of Saad and this freedom of choice is reflected in the novels of Manji Kapoor, especially Kapoor's protagonists are tirelessly searching for their identity and want to know the purpose of the existence. So, the proper protagonists, they started the journey with the freedom of choice. And the protagonists, they search for the meaning in this quest for self-discovery. 
Okay, so how this freedom of choice is reflected in difficult daughters? Okay, so what? Who are the important characters in this novel? Kasturi, mother of Virmati, and and Ida is the daughter of Virmati. So the novel revolves around these three characters, and Virmati is the protagonist of this novel, and she is portrayed as a revolutionary woman. Also, she has the freedom of choice, and there are many choices that she made in her life. And I have quoted five choices from her life. The first and the foremost choice is, she doesn't want to be like her mother because her mother's life revolved around childbearing and domesticity. But on the other hand, she wanted to be an educated woman like Shakuntala, her cousin. And the second important choice that she made in her life was she wanted to go for high studies. So that is the second choice that she made. But whenever she is making her choice, there was a great opposition from the family members, especially her own mother opposed her. And in spite of her stumbling blocks, in spite of uh, problems and issues that she has faced, she could overcome all the the difficulties and the third important choice that she made in her life was she got an opportunity to work as a principal in girls school in Nahan and at that moment also um, she neglected all the um, the um, difficulties uh, she could overcome all her difficulties and she started her career as a principal and the fourth the most important choice that she made in her life was to marry her professor but it turned out to be a difficult and disastrous life uh, but in spite of all her difficulties she could overcome and she could stand in her life finally and the fifth important choice that she made in her life was after her marriage she decided to study or decided to continue her higher education in psychology and so these are the important choices that she made in her life and as a result of that she took the responsibility to face all her critical moments and the responsibility was on her shoulder and this to sum up Vimadi is portrayed as a, a pro, as a existentialist and the freedom of choice the theme of freedom of choice is uh, clearly uh, reflected in the novels of Manchu Kapoor through the character Veermati. Uh, a close study of her novel reveals that freedom of choice is the central theme of her novels so all her protagonists started their journey with the freedom of choice and they search for the new meaning in their quest for self-discovery so, like existentialist, Kapoor sees man and woman as a free agent who is free to choose her or his own actions. But this freedom is tried with responsibility. Thus, the difficult daughters brings out the existentialist theme, the theme, a freedom of theme of freedom of choice. Thank you for the opportunity.